Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into X4 7.0, the update, the free update that you get on the game. This is one that you're going to get in addition to anybody who gets the timelines update, but that one's obviously the paid version. This is the free one. So let's have a quick look into what they've added into the public beta. And, uh, and yeah, let's see let's see what ships we can get our hands on to. So the first thing I want to talk about is the tutorials. They've now revamped the tutorials so that they are a little bit more easier to understand for people who are playing the game. So if you would rather use the in-game tutorials, this is now what you get. So you get your basic tutorials at the top six, which allows you to get around and stuff like that. Then you get your intermediate tutorials, which will go through all of the things underneath the intermediaries. And then obviously your advanced, which goes into things like adaptive steering. And then you have the special one, which I've just highlighted at the moment, which is a combat scenario, which uh, gets you into a combat situation so you can figure out how to actually fight. So this is a little bit of a different approach to what they've done in the past, and I know they're working on this throughout the beta. So if you are a new player, make sure you do give them the feedback on the forums so that they can try and improve on their uh, guides. However, if you are obviously hitting a youtuber for guides then hopefully they'll also bring out some new updates on their guides i know i certainly am with obviously the changes that come with timelines um the other thing you may notice as well is this blue hue around the menu now and if i actually go back from the tutorials you'll also notice that the actual main menu has now changed so now you get the play tutorials play timelines which is obviously currently not available and it also gives you a little bit of a star here that shows this is as you can see here uh, timelines is recommended for new players after playing the basic tutorials so you want to go to your basic tutorials in here i'm just going to break off that because it'll start talking so once you've done these six here it's then recommending you to play timelines um, now if you go to the play open universe you can either have a new game or you can load a game obviously load the game as usual new game now brings up this here and from here it will show you where it recommends you start now the one i've always said terran cadet which is what i like to see there this game starts is recommended for new players and you've also got the emergence as well again another one recommended for new players so i do like that that's something i comment on on most of my videos whenever i do guides about uh, the terran cadet being one of the best ones for a new player start so i do like to see the the feedback being taken there and now it's uh, showing game which is nice um, again the menus are nice and a little bit they look a little bit cleaner uh, with this neon glow it's more cyber esque i should say uh, so yeah i'm interested to see um how it's going to look in game um but i do like it it's nice and glowy uh, the other thing they've done as well is they've actually put in a colorblind option if i go into here you can actually now adjust everything for um for your colorblind which i think's amazing you can literally change everything now, which is great. So that's, and you can also have your default sir, as well, and your correction strength. Fantastic. Um, the other thing they have changed as well, which I'm not going to really go into too much, is the controls. They've now um, improved the actual um, input of them, and you've also got a radio menu now as well. So you can see that we have a radio menu that we can select things up. Um, I've not looked into the radio menu yet. We'll have a look at that probably on the next episode, um, which is an in-game option. But uh, certainly we'll have a look at it uh, because obviously we've got general controls here. So if I want to do things like uh, boost, I can to put that on the radio menu, fire primary weapons. I think what I'm actually going to probably look at is um, probably some of these here, like the the scan modes and the travel mode stuff like that maybe or maybe we go into um scan objects target or oh, there's cameras as well so there's some things i might have a look at which i'll put on the radio menu uh, but as i say we'll probably look at that more in the next episode and the other thing as well which i'm going to show you now is when you now go to we'll do a new game uh, now when we go to the creative you'll now notice that um, as you click into these, anything that you change will now have this nice bright yellow. Uh, so whereas before it was like a bit of an orangey yellow, this is now bright. Um, again, when you change that there, it also now clearly highlights that it's now a modified game. Please be aware that starting a modified game will disable all online functional uh, functionality. 
any save game saved by modified will also be excluded from this functionality not only that you can't earn any um any achievements or anything like that through it as well but if i do this here you'll notice the white ones are the ones that we originally had and all of them yellow ones nice bright yellow um shows what you've added and that goes for everything you do i want to change the story state you can see at a glance which one's been changed so yeah it's amazing i really like the look of it um now if we also we're going to go into a game in a second and actually um we'll start loading it up now actually uh, so i've got one set up already so we're going to start it up now now the other things that they've changed they've improved on the um on the actual engine um which is nice there's there's a various other three things that i want to have a look at now that the 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 on look for for the 7.0 was was the gameplay innovations that they've had in it um so the there's the end game challenge that they've got they've changed for the external camera and obviously they've reworked the ai and the expanded tutorials as well which is amazing there's a few other little bits and bats that i want to have a look as well um again the bright color is now shown on the hood so we've got this this color is a little bit glowy now um, same pop-up that we normally get but all of these hoods are now color changing now I've actually put in a hell of a lot of ships to test whether or not my system can handle it as you can see it is a little bit choppy but we have only just started and obviously everything is moving at once um, but we'll see how that settles as it goes on um, but yeah so if we we can also see we now get the options menu slightly different here now we have I believe it's in graphic settings we now have our field of view which I'm going to maximize out so we can see the field of view um, we also have our gamma that we can change as well um, there is custom UI colors uh, which is you can adjust if you want to but technically it is for colorblind um, there's also during during the gameplay you'll also get a lot more audio and text feedback as well which i'm interested to see as we go through uh, it's definitely something i want to check out at some stage uh, we'll probably pop them they'll, they'll probably appear as and when we start playing them but we'll continue on the game let's have a look at the map and see how the map is now see the map is a lot clearer as well ships are a lot more defined uh, the lighting on the things are a lot brighter now before i zoom out um, quickly there and um, this obviously does include spoilers I have all of the areas unlocked at the moment so if you don't want to see any of the areas then please look away but look at them colors this is obviously all the faction colors and stuff like that and I do believe we can go to here and we can actually turn that off uh, doesn't change oh there we go so it does it shows it shows it slightly doesn't really change it too much that's not too bad so we still have all them functions the menus look cleaner look brighter certainly like it and uh, there's a bigger map as well there are sectors in here that are new um, that's these here these again um, these come as part of the the free update so you get them irrespective of whether that's a new one I believe hmm. not sure that's obviously avarice yeah I think that might be miss of Artemis might be one as well but they um, they obviously become a, uh, are a part of the 7.0, so you get them as well, so you don't need to worry about that too much. Um, now, I have a few of the newer ships that I also want to show off. I am actually in a new ship as well at the moment. Now, let's have a look at this uh, new external camera. Uh, Factory. Oh, it feels nicer. Let's just get ourselves detached. 
Can we remove ourselves from the ship here? Okay, the it seems to We are attached to a station, which is fun. So that's worth noting if you're putting stuff down. If you're putting st stuff down in the custom mode, don't put them down on top of each other, otherwise you get stuck in it. That's worth noting. But what I, what you can make notice is as I actually turn, so you can see the edges are trying to work, I'm now turning left here. The, the actual camera adapts to my turning, which is nice. I'm going up now. I'm going down. Obviously, I'm not because it's not doing anything, but... Right, another thing as well, look at this here, on the right hand side, I've got now steering mode activated. So I can actually see my steering mode. I've got my full HUD. Okay. But I am well and truly stuck. Yep, well and truly stuck. But this is, <laughs> this is one of the new ships. Um, factory. Okay, that's factory. Okay, so. Oh, what's that there? New audible sound. Asgard factory. You'll also notice as well Phoenix, when I'm target e. when I'm targeting things. Albatross Sentinel. Get these little circles on now. Asgard. So they've cleaned up their targeting systems as well. And that's F3 is the external target view. Uh, secondary weapon group. Ooh, nice. Oh, okay. So that's so when it's in range. So that's that's your indicator that you're in range. That's nice. It's a lot cleaner than it was before. Okay, so th this is obviously a little bit annoying that we're stuck inside it, but we'll we'll. we'll we can still have a look at some of the things. Let's, um, let's zoom in again and see how... Look at that. So the AI now has managed to put these into a bit of a fleet order, which before it would take forever to do things like that. That's nice. Um, now, in the next episode, I am going to have a look at some of these new ships that we've got. And we have got some of the older ships in here as well. We've actually got a lot of the Asgards because we're going to check out the Xenon as well. I want to head into the Xenon area to... Oh, look at that. You get little individual things on the map now. I've only just noticed that. That's the asteroid belt. Have they done away with the... Mining. Show resource information. It looks like... At a glance, they've done away with the um, the actual like the colours that you used to have. Let's go to our legend and see what it says. We've still got mineral gas and mineral gas region there, but I'm not seeing them actually on the map, which is interesting. Uh, now we should actually be able to get out of our docking. Not possible. Docking not possible. Let's uh Okay yeah. That stays on the screen way too long. Um again the menus are the same colour texture. It's nice, I like it. Oh the this looks a bit brighter in here. Right, we should have a captain of this ship. We may not, so let's just uh, let's just assign one. Personnel manager service crew. Uh, work somewhere else for me. I'm gonna find my ship. There it is. Select roll, captain. There we go. I don't need to worry too much, but hopefully he might break us out of the stuck place that we have. Because sometimes the AI can obviously jump us out of here. Sir, crew woman. That's new, crew woman. So okay. 
So yeah, so now we get these asteroids, which is nice. Uh, I don't know what the gas is going to look like, but it's, it's different. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to like it or not when we're actually playing, so we'll have to see about that. Uh, but everything else looks to be normal. The um, the encyclopedia obviously will have updates on our ship comparison and stuff. But again, everything Earth looks scientists create. Everything looks normal. It just looks cleaner more than anything. Um, nothing's changed in our thing. I'm just brighter. And then the other thing that there is here is a special the xenon special equipment, which I want to have a look into. Uh, this research will unlock the ability to modify the mysterious new variants of Xenon ships at personal ship production installations. So I want to have a look into that. But again, the menus are all nice and bright with this new colour scheme. So that's good. So I just want to take a look around um, at the stuff whilst we can. Um, are we out? Yes, we're out. He's got us out. Excellent. Um, so this is one of the newer ships, apparently. Um, the only thing, edit follow camera position, control and E. Uh, control and E. Oh, okay. Oh, that is nice. Height. So we can change the height of it. On the lateral. So we can get off to one side. Or we can have default. It's still a little bit jumpy. The only thing I'm not seeing, uh, so standard view is F1, but it doesn't give us the f the free view anymore that we used to have. So when you're external, you could like ship around because all it does is just the two now. Um, if we target, e e. so we can do external static view, but that's that's the old one, and then the F5 is the same. It's a save. So hmm. Maybe they've got rid of it completely. It'd be a shame if they have, because I used to like it. Um, but obviously we... I have just thought of a fin tingling in the... <sighs> Let's go start interested. talking now. Do come and talk to me and I will explain. Okay. So these are the old, the old standard Asgard, so we can ignore that. But this is the new behemoth. Um, oh. So now I've got... So now my external view is now working, so I don't know what I've pressed. Now it works. Whereas before it wouldn't work. So there we go. So I, I've done something, press something, and now it works. So this is the behemoth E. Which I'm not sure. Obviously, at a glance, I'm not sure. that There doesn't seem to be too many changes. It seems neater. Uh, it seems a little bit narrower. Um, we are going to probably compare it to the other ones uh, I do like the yeah it does look a little bit neater but there we go. so obviously this is the as uh, the, not the Asgard this is the Argon uh, destroyer these are great at long range so I'm interested to see whether or not obviously this same you know packs the same punch as the old one did but we'll check that out uh, so as I say, next episode we're going to be checking out the ships and stuff like that. There is, obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of ships out there. There's obviously a couple of stations which have got adjustments in them. There are um, there are new, um, new zones to look at, so we'll have a look at them as well. But what we are going to do is we're going to move all of the Argon ships over to the Xenon territories, and we're going to try and take out some of the Xenon and try and see if we can have a look at some of the new models that I've got there. So that's what we're going to be doing at some stage. Uh, but yeah, so if you'd like to have an actual look at certain things, or if you want me to do something during the 7.0 beta, then let me know in the comment section below. Um, there's a lot to be checking out. I just want to kind of just skim the surface of, of what we're actually looking at and go for it um, naturally, uh, so we're not just reading off a menu and just going, well, we've ticked that off, we've ticked that off. So I, I do apologise if it's not a usual standard that you're used to, but I'd rather it be more dynamic than than just reading off a list and actually have a kind of first reaction to everything um, but yeah so far i'm enjoying what i'm seeing you can also see that the the background imagery has improved again it's a much crisper picture which is great um so let's uh, let's check out some of the more um unusual stuff 
uh, some of the Talada you can see in the background, the ships that we've never used before. Um, I want to have a check of them on the next episode. So, as I said, if you'd let me know in the comment section if you want to specifically see something, or if you've got an idea on on what you know what you expect something to be, then we'll check it out. Uh, but until next time, everybody take care for now, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye bye for now.